Hi class, welcome back. Um, we're going to we were discussing on first and second Peter, and due to the poor network, our class got disconnected. Well, I'm restarting the class from second Peter onwards. Let me share the presentation. Give me a minute, please. Okay, so here's the slide on second Peter. So we saw first Peter and he was a fisherman trading. Yes, he was crucified upside down and thrown and he strengthened the believers, uh, the Gentile and the Jewish believers during the time of persecution. And we are starting on the second Peter. Second Peter is known as the book of true knowledge. So when we look at the background of the book of Second Peter, we see the writer claims to be Simon Peter. The chapter one, verse one, Second Peter chapter one, verse one, we see that he, it's, he, he states, uh, he stated as Simon Peter, a bond servant and apostle of Jesus Christ. So the writer claims to have been um, on the Mount of Transfiguration with Jesus. And also he makes certain references to a former episode. The, uh, and he's also, uh, you know, uh, Peter wrote this book toward the end of his life, just like how Apostle Paul wrote Second Timothy in, uh, you know, and, uh, and predicted his last days. The same way uh, Peter seemed to write the second letter, uh, uh, second letter to uh, um, Second Peter, and he predicts his last days uh, during the persecution experience. He was also concerned about certain things in the ministry. Uh, he has addressed in this letter in Second Peter chapter 2, we see that he has addressed about the false teachers and he warns the believers um, how to be aware of these false teachers and how to keep themselves away from the false doctrine. He, at the same time, he was also concerned about the temptations, temptations, and he wants the believers, you know, not to fall away from the faith. We also see that uh, he was concerned about, um, you know, uh, the believers who had a true concept concept of the return of the Lord so that they may hold on to it and hold on to the gospel of Jesus Christ. Uh, been said that he wrote this gospel, um, I mean he wrote this letter during 65 to 66 AD after which Peter was martyred for his faith by the Emperor Nero. So the main message of the book of Second Peter was, uh, you know, uh, to uh, to convey uh, to convey uh, the knowledge was the key inheriting the promises of God, and he also went on to continue the increase in the knowledge and how a believer can grow in Lord Jesus Christ. We also see that he reminds and establish the people in truth and in the true knowledge of the word of God. So we are to realize that the source of this knowledge is God himself. And when we know the source of the knowledge is God himself, we need to resist the heresy by holding fast to the way of truth. So the true knowledge will be a safeguard against the heresy and the false teachings. And uh, here are some features of the book of Second Peter, the unique features, which will also be the main message of this book. So what is it? Peter's guarantee. When we turn to Second Peter chapter 5, verse 11, verse 5 to 11. So I'll just read. It says, but also... For this very reason, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, to virtue, knowledge, to knowledge, self-control, to self-control, 
perseverance. To perseverance, godliness. To godliness, brotherly kindness. And to brotherly kindness, love. For if these things are yours and abound, you will neither barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. For he who lacks these things is short-sighted even to blindness and has forgotten that he was cleansed from his old sins. So verse 10 says that, Therefore, brethren, be even more diligent to make your call and election sure. For if you do these things, you will never stumble. For so an entrance will be supplied to you abundantly into the everlasting kingdom of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So we read in this passage, Second Peter chapter 1, verse 5 to 11, about things like virtue, knowledge, self-control, or patience and perseverance is so very important because that leads to godliness and brotherly kindness. So Peter's doctrine of inspiration we see in this passage. And also he warns against the false teachers by telling them, you know, um, how the Jewish false teachers creep into the church and how they come against the teaching of the gospel. So Peter's description of these false teachers, he has no kind words to say about these false teachers who are coming into the church. He literally called them as destructive heresy especially addresses in second peter chapter 2 he addresses these false teachers as uh, teachers of destructive heresies or those who exploit with deceptive words and he also uh, he, he goes ahead and uh, calls them calls them as the followers of the way of Balaam, Balaam, and uh, they are the lovers of money. Uh, they are wells without water. They are speaking, spelling words of emptiness and slaves of corruption. So with that, Peter also um, uh, describes the day of the Lord. Uh, in uh, Second Peter chapter 3, when we read from 3 to further on to verse 14, he talks and addresses about sophers will come prior to the day, questioning the reality of Christ coming. And then he also says that, you know, um, this present earth will be renovated with fire at Christ written. And at the Christ written, the ungodly will be judged. He also says, even though there is a delay, and the day is surely going to come. Because the believers in those days or his times were waiting for the Lord with an expectant heart. So the day of the Lord will come. It will be just like a thief in the night. And it involves, the day of the Lord, involved in destruction of the present heaven and earth, where it will give place or give birth to that new heavens and new earth. So believers have nothing to fear. He's assuring the believers in the church. He's telling them, you and I have nothing to fear, but then look forward, be focused on the Lord, for his day is coming. So Peter's personal reference to Apostle Paul, he acknowledges him, acknowledges him. For Peter makes certain reference to Paul in his writing. Um, when we read 
second peter chapter 3 especially verse 14 to 16 i just read this from online scripture saying that therefore beloved looking forward to these things be diligent to be found by him in peace without blemish sorry without blameless and consider that the long suffering of our lord is salvation as also our beloved brother paul according to the wisdom given to him as written to you as also in all his epistles speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to understand which unthought and unstable people twist to their own destruction as they do also the rest of the scriptures so this is what apostle uh, you know peter talks about apostle paul with his references like you know god himself gave him the wisdom to write the epistles so whatever episodes apostle paul has written to you was written by the god given wisdom to each of us and also when we reflect on these two letters first peter and second peter we see that the first peter dealt with the problem from outside the false teachers and other people coming against the church or dealing with the problem from outside but in second peter we see that this letter deals with the problem from the inside it's to something with your spiritual life spiritual upbringing with our virtue with the building up a strong character not giving up on the faith holding on to the persecution holding on i mean enduring the suffering because our reward will come from the lord and also along with it apostle peter encourages the believers to wait upon the lord for the day of the lord is at hand it will come just like how the thief comes in the night so we see that apostle peter encourages the believers to keep close watch on their personal life as he warns them about the false teachers and the false doctrines so as we are as apostle paul is warning the believers there same way we need to guard our spiritual life can we take a look at our own life are we looking at our personal self and developing our character are we developing our virtue that we may grow stronger in christ likeness and at the same time we are also to take up the warning of the false teachers and the false teachings that are going around us we need to be so much focused on the gospel of jesus christ and hold on to him because the day of the lord is at hand so as we cover these two letters let's pray and ask god god you be with us you move with us help us to get the true knowledge Christ Jesus as we study in this letter and have a understanding of your word and at the same time ask God God give us that endurance endurance of the patience during the time of trial just like how the believers endured the trials in their time we may have our trial of our own in different ways so we need God's strength God's strength for us to endure our own trial, our own challenges to overcome the situation. Let's pray. Dear God, we thank you, we praise you, Lord, that you are strengthening us in midst of our challenges. Lord, I pray and I surrender each and every student who are watching this video. Lita, I pray and I ask, Lord, that you will impart your true knowledge to each of us your wisdom lord through which we can understand your word in the way that it is written lord we also pray 
for the endurance, Lord, that we may endure every trial, every temptation that we may face in our life, Lord. We need you in our life so that we may face every trial and temptation by your strength, O oh Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for strengthening our inner man so that we may also grow in virtue and character and more to be like Christ, Lord. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you so much, class, for joining in today's session as we studied the letter of James, um, first and second Peter. Thank you so much. And uh, tomorrow we will study with the next letters. And uh, thank you so much. And even tomorrow we will take up the um, extra two hours so that we can complete our portions on New Testament survey on time. And we will have enough time to prepare for our uh, uh, final assessment. Thank you so much. God bless. Have a blessed day. Thank you.